Is it a good time to invest in the Disney Vacation Club and save on hotels while other prices at the parks are going way up? What are your thoughts? So, today I'm going to be talking about DVC and whether or not I think that you should buy right now. And the reason why I say that is because, well, because prices are increasing all the time. And uh, even though that Bob Iger has admittedly said that he believes that, that the prices went up way so fast, uh, the question is uh, whether or not that they're going to lower the prices. We'll have to see. We'll have to wait it out and see. That's what I say about that. But anyways, before we get started, if you haven't been subscribed already, go ahead and mash that subscribe button, shall you? Go ahead and hit it, you know, become a subscriber and then hit that notification bell right after you hit the subscription bell, uh, bar and uh, make sure that you get notified about when our videos go live and when we uh, post a new video to the channel. It's all free It's uh, and then you become part of the Detroit Disney Duo family. And for those who have subscribed already, we appreciate you very, very, very much. Anyways. Thank you for watching our videos also. It helps us out. Uh, and uh, anyhow, so hopefully you're also learning some stuff. And take part of the conversation. Uh, make sure to hit the like, the, the like button also on our videos. We appreciate that. So, it's another great, beautiful day in Detroit. And you know what the meat and potatoes is. It's about the DVC. Uh, yesterday... We talked about quite a few things, and um, this morning, uh, yesterday morning, and um, I listened to uh, the Diz Unplugged podcast, which is like a video podcast. They have it on; they, they record it. It's on Apple Music and wherever else there's a podcast, and they also have it at uh, the DVC. I mean, I mean on YouTube. And uh, so anyways, they were talking also about uh, the annual passes and, uh, you know, they had some varying thoughts about the annual passes. Uh, of course, that show was recorded before the announcements of the annual passes. So, you know, hey, anyhow, so the annual passes are back. That was uh, the big news uh, as of the last couple days. It's uh, great that they have returned. And now, yes, and now... Uh, we're talking about uh, other stuff. Anyways. So. Um, let's talk about DVC. Let's go ahead and jump in while we can. Because uh, we don't have that long of a drive at all. So DVC. It's a Disney Vacation Club. It, some people don't want to buy into it because they believe it's a timeshare. It sort of is a timeshare. I don't know that I would specify it as a complete timeshare. They're, they have a lot of perks uh, at Disney that you get plus, uh, you know, um, it, it's a, it also, uh, you know, is a alternative method of uh, staying at the resorts uh, by joining the DVC. I would call it almost like a prepaid system knowing that this is going to be where, the place that you vacation at uh, for, uh, for the future. And uh, all every year in the future that you'll come to Disney usually unless something's happened so and I think that DVC members are treated pretty well uh, you know for the most part so should I should I join the DVC as we know prices are always increasing on all of the hotels and the resorts I call them resorts some people call them hotels whatever you want to call them and it's always increasing uh, there's no rhyme or reason to why they increase, uh, other than what I believe is uh, they're trying to refurbish all of the hotels and make them more modernistic. And as you know, anywhere that a hotel uh, does do a refurb, that they're going to increase prices. Uh, you know, most of these hotels were created back in the 90s or even f further before that. Some of them date back to uh, the beginnings of the park. And to update them and bring them modernistic with uh, new, new types, new showers, 
you know, new flooring, new 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 beds, new everything, uh, new looks, new paint schemes, new uh, new uh, you know new everything, uh, new retheming. All of this is uh, going to cost uh, somebody some money somewhere so they can pay for it all. So uh, that 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 goes into the cost of the the rooms. And you know um, it's a, and then they give you know they just now they're giving uh, everybody a thirty uh, percent discount on on certain uh, resorts now uh, resort stays and that, that's that's pretty great I think you know there's, there's going to be a low this year like we say low you know that means I mean it's not really that low like nobody's there but it lower than normal uh, or lower than it has been uh, and. Uh, so they're giving a, a discount this summer to get people in. So I think that's going to be that's a incentive that people should take advantage of since the prices has gone up. Even the prices of the All Star Resorts and the uh, has has gone up. You know, so yeah, that's something to think about. So another thing uh, that you should think about DVC is um, over a period of time. What kind of let's talk about what kind of hotels you're staying in? So you're staying in uh, uh, resorts and hotels, uh, resorts like the um, the let's hear the uh, the the uh, let's hear the Grand Grand Floridian or you know the Polynesian or the Riviera or uh, you know Old Key West or Saratoga Springs, uh, you know. Um, those kind of uh, moderate to very expensive, very expensive uh, resorts that normally a person like, uh, you know, most people will not be able to afford one night. I think one night at the Grand Floridian is almost $800, you know. But if you have DUC points, you know, if you took, if you stayed at the Grand Flow for the Grand Floridian for a week, uh, that would be eight seven times 800 that would be five thousand six hundred dollars why would would you spend five thousand six hundred dollars for a small resort room uh or would you utilize i mean that would be almost one half of uh you know uh, like one one that would be one probably uh one quarter of uh, what you'd be spending on a dvc plan uh possibly Six, about six thousand dollars so i think that in the in the meantime that would only take you four visits or four years of you visiting at the grand floridian to pay for it and then after that all you would have is your your annual dues so you know instead of wasting your money and paying at resorts that uh you know that you're you're not getting anything back the time to invest and invest in the future since you know you're going to go to Walt Disney World is go ahead and start investing so instead of putting two thousand dollars in hotel in resorts put that same two thousand dollars into what I call the DVC the DVC and put it towards your your yearly um, you know investing in uh, so that you don't have to pay those exorbitant uh, high cost uh, resort co uh, costs and I think that's a huge plan a way to save a ton of of money um, yeah so the um, the resorts right are, are probably one of your major uh, your major costs when you go to Walt Disney World uh, especially uh, you know now uh, with and then food I think it's second and tickets resorts food and tickets those are the three main things you have to get over now food you, you might be able to get away with dining at a um, a very <clears throat> dining at a uh, l lower a lower cost of uh, a lower cost uh, 
place. Uh, you might even go off the grid and uh, off the property and eat somewhere where it's cheaper. You might even uh, buy some food and take it back to your DVC room and, and lower the cost of your dining. But tickets now are rising. So you have to be able to save somewhere on one of those three items, you know, to make up for the cost of Genie Plus, to make up for the cost of the ticket prices, uh, and to make up for everything else that you're paying for in the parks. I think it's highly critical that that happens and that you save, and, one, and getting the DVC is really, really important. Yeah, that's what I think. I think it's really critical that you really do that so you can save the most money, get the most bang for your buck when you come back every single time. Plus, you get a discount. Now, part of the DVC, you get a discount. Uh, you just get a discount on dining. Uh, you just, I don't know if they're still doing that, even though the, the dining plan's not there. But you just get all sorts of uh, uh, discounts. And then they have, uh, uh, you know, a DVC events that if you're local, you can go to. Or even if you're there, if you time your your uh, your visit right during that period of time, you may be there during the time that there's a DVC event because they do uh, let you know ahead of time. But anyways, that's my thoughts of why that you should get DVC now and and stop and stop procrastinating. Uh, I'm not a salesman of DVC, uh, but I am a DVC member, and I think that there's lots of benefits, especially now that the ticket prices are gone up, and there is no. Uh, and, and the same thing with uh, resort rooms. So anyhow, talk to you guys later. Have a great one. And for now, over and out.